responsibilities. We all have them, but the coach's responsibility is huge because you are the person that the client is going to see the most. You are the energy that they're going to feel and that they're going to take with them after the session. So this is all on the four R's for you. I will go through the important ones, but I will try not to be redundant because you can print it out and read it yourself. Obviously, you're going to coach your sessions. You want to go above and beyond and make your sessions remarkable. Put your own personality into it, your own flavor. Make sure they're phenomenal. Now, the coaches, the sessions are all planned in advance. You can be part of the planning process, but follow what's on the board. And make sure that you follow the format of Shred, Bootcamp, and Warrior. And if it's an HPT session, make sure you're following the workout on their personal training distinction app. So that will all be explained as you're doing that. But make sure you're following the process, but still adding your own flavor. How do you add your own flavor? During the warm up, during the cool down, during the cardio blast in the middle, and the way you talk and carry yourself. Make it an experience. Make sure you do the light share message. Whatever the light share of the week is, this week it's gratitude. Talk about your own personal experiences and gratitude. Bring them together. Give them some mindset to take with them when the workout's done. Greet all the life lighters by name. You'll also be doing, because when you know their name, I think the sweetest sound to any person is the sound of their own name. We love to hear it. We love that people remember and care enough. So if you don't know, ask and learn them. Talk to Coach Tevin. He is a master at learning everyone's names and enunciating them correctly. Don't know how he does it, but that's why he's Tevin. Nutrition consultations. In one of the modules below, you'll learn more of how to do that. But that is when you become a nutrition expert and deliver their meal plan to them and recommend the best supplement package. Life Lighter Spotlights. This is huge. Superstar coaches are going to do one after every session. It's kind of like the life lighter of the workout, and we immediately post them on our Facebook page with the hashtag life lighter spotlight. That way they get status, they get recognized. And it's kind of like, instead of member of the week, we have member of the workout, and we want to have a lot of them. Your coach's scoreboard will be in the office. Tevin will go through that with you. Things such as how many sessions did you coach? How many evaluations did you do? How many handwritten cards did you write? Basically, all the metrics, KPIs for a coach. Every week, do an hour of continuing education. That can be reading a book that we agree on. That can be going through the portal again. That can be learning new exercises you want to incorporate. That can be learning more about nutrition. But learning and growing is key because if we're not growing, we're dying. And you know I'm not lying. Okay, also... The Coach's Handbook, that's an additional resource that really breaks down how the sessions work. Make sure you understand it. Monthly coaching tasks, that's all described in the four R's. Accountability tasks, also described. Assisting with weigh-ins and weigh-outs. When we do a group weigh-in or weigh-out, we will want coaches to help us do that. Using the Lifelike Coaching Rubric to evaluate two of your peers each month. Every month you'll be evaluated by Tevin or Omnia but you'll also be evaluated by two of your peers and you'll also evaluate each other. It really keeps us in tune. So we'll have a link for that rubric as well. Attend the weekly coaches huddle. You'll learn how to be a better coach, both on the floor and in your own mind. So that's important that we're all on the same page there. Tevin puts a lot of work to make sure they're awesome. So let's do that. Recognize group training clients who will benefit from HPT and set an appointment with myself or with Tevin to ascend them up to HPT. And of course, clean up after your sessions. And by cleaning up, if you're especially if you're the last one out, make sure the gym floor looks showroom ready, ready for the next session. If it's the last session of the night, clean up the gym floor. Make sure the bathrooms have toilet paper. Just basic stuff, but I'm going to still reiterate it. The bathrooms have toilet paper and there's no visible debris that would make someone not want to go in there. And um, just the office, get rid of clutter, put things away. Make sure we're always showroom ready. Your first sales opportunity will be nutrition consultations, internal challenges, referral requests, HPT ascension sets, and for those who really want to step it up, 
you will learn how to do one-on-one -on -one six week challenge sales. Again, I believe coaches deserve financial freedom. And the only way to achieve that is if you add sales mastery to your repertoire, then that's when you transition from being a sale uh, fitness coach to a fitness professional. And that's also when you'll achieve financial freedom. So again, on the four R's, these are all there. For your daily responsibilities, these are what you do at the beginning of the shift. Make sure it's set up. Make sure that you know your regressions and your uh, progressions. Everything's a work in progress. Bear with me. Also, know what internal promotion we're running and sign members up for them. Usually it's a $99 charge for members to join it, but it's your enthusiasm about it that will make it happen. Spot check the facility, make sure nothing's out of place. Also, I'm going to add these. Make sure the mic is ready. And make sure your music is ready. Oh, one more. And make sure your timer is ready. It's all on the tablet. Easy to do. But just make sure you uh, are ready to go before it starts. Now, during the sessions, you're only going to use your cell phone to take afterglow photos, which translate to the life lighter spotlight. Ideally, you're going to do one after every session, and that is how we really light share. You should be moving around and working so much and getting down and dirty with them that you're sweating. You should be you'll demonstrate all the exercises prior to having anyone start. However, don't let your intro time take 15 minutes. Ideally, it's going to take eight minutes or less. Try to engage with every customer as many times as possible. During your warm up, I like to go around and give everyone a high five and say their name out loud because by the time the session's over, every life lighter should have heard their name at least three times and all positive. So never sit down. That's obvious. Don't have any type of food with you while you coach. Don't have a Starbucks coffee. Don't finish up your lunch. Don't even eat an apple or a banana. Ideally, you have a water bottle and it has intra. So when you do the intra break, everyone has it. So I will provide free intra for all the coaches. That way you always have your BCAAs and you set a good example. Don't stay in one spot. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. I like to dance. I like to prance. Hopefully you do too. Show, don't tell. If someone's having issues, don't try to coach them just with words. Use words, uh, physical cues, and a demonstration. When you do see a life lighter demonstrating good form, catch them, publicize it, make a big deal about it, make them a superstar. And now when you move, don't slunk and lunk and just kind of mope around. Move with energy, urgency. Make it look like, I mean, let them know that you've got a mission and you're ready to put the energy to accomplish that mission. Give authentic and inspiring feedback. And make sure you know the attention to connection guidelines in your light share book. Show off what you're doing. At the end of the sessions, I like to do a finishing move when everyone's doing the same thing at the same time or even during the cardio blast. Unison videos when everybody's lifting their knee up at the same time and squatting down at the same time are the ones that attract the most new members when I use them for videos. So... Whenever you can show off what you're doing and record one of those unison videos, I thank you for it. Okay, when the session's over, reset it, get it ready for the next coach. Emphatically greet everybody that's coming in, whether you're coaching the next session or not. Don't just finish your uh, session and say, I'm out of here. Stay there and interact with the new people coming in. We're all family. Attention to connection is one of our core values. All right? Make sure that you sign people up for internal challenges. We typically have one every other month. Also, HPT Ascension appointments. That's awesome. Set them, get them scheduled. It's a wonderful way to spend that time in between sessions. If you have referrals coming in, tell the success manager, which is Tevin, or the sales manager, which is Denise, all about it. And then immediately post the Life Lighter Spotlight photos and messages. 
and any opportunity you see to deliver a remarkable, by remarkable means they're going to post about it, they're going to remark about it, they're going to talk about it, a remarkable member experience. If you see an opportunity, do it. And you're hired because you're that type of person. So I know all you have to do is follow what intrinsically drives you anyway, and you're going to be doing a lot of awesome light sharing. At the end of the shift, break down the workout, make sure all the equipment's put away, say goodbye to all the life lighters, especially the other coaches who are probably tired, but still inspired. And give them a smile, give them a high five. Ensure all the promos are signed up are on the clipboard. And just take a quick lap around the gym, make sure the equipment's organized. I remember when I would coach the last session of the day, I would stay sometimes and do a, my own little workout there, which is kind of fun. Now, the, this is very important. Make sure you put the key back in the lockbox. We intentionally have one key and one lockbox one lock box and lots of cameras. So as long as you unlock it and put it back, and then when you're done, you go get it again, lock everything up, and then put it back, we will never be without a key. All right. Accountability tasks. You are more than a coach. You are going to stay connected and keep our members accountable even when they're not at the gym. So say you work a four-hour block. We pay you for another 30 minutes to actually do these tasks. Now, you will be assigned either weekly or monthly a list of people. You'll be giving the cards for them, and you're going to just write them a nice note. And normally they're going to be people who – attend your sessions anyway, so you already have a connection to rapport with them. However, these handwritten letters mean a lot, especially when they come from the heart and you point out something that they did well in session or a strength you're noticing that's improving. And you always want to remind them of any member events we have coming up. And we typically have member events every month. Make sure you attend those too because it's fun, it builds community, and um, it's life sharing. Now, posting in the Facebook group. Every day you should visit the Facebook group, go in and like things, and also respond to people, compliment people, like, share. Facebook is the new, it's kind of like you walk down your, your block, right, in your friendly neighborhood, and you see your neighbors on their porches. Imagine all of our neighbors, all of our life lighters are on one block, and you get to use Facebook to walk around and say hi to them and give them all some love. All right. When you do nutrition consultations, five times out of eight, they're going to buy supplements from you. You're going to get a commission that repeats. So you, it's in your best interest to follow up with them to uh, make sure they're actually taking the supplements. Because here's the deal with those supplements. If you don't take them, they don't work. Okay. Use the spreadsheet to, uh, for communication cycles and Boxer to communicate with other coaches. And... Last but not least, say you want to text one of our members. You are going to use Scipio to do so. You can put it on your phone. You can also put it on your computer. But that's our texting platform. That way we can keep track of all the texts. They don't know your personal phone number. Please don't give your personal phone number to members. Please do not text them from your personal phone number. Let's use Scipio. Let's keep it cool. Let's keep it consistent. Again, our Life Ladder coaches are the heart and soul of our business. You are our product. Please take it as seriously and develop your craft as I care about it. If you care half as much as I do, the only problem we're going to have is that you didn't start coaching here six years ago.